Hi, Assalamualaikum and good day to all of you. So we are going to learn uh, first chapter Mathematics Form 4. So the chapter is Quadratic Functions and Equations in One Variable. So for this chapter, I'm going to break down into three parts. The first part is Quadratic Expression, the second part is Quadratic Functions and the third part is Quadratic Equation. So Quadratic Expression, what is it? Okay, you can see this is an expression here. So we have two rules for it to be quadratic expression in one variable. First rule is A, the highest power for this expression must be 2. So you look at the variable here, the variable is x and the highest power for the variable is 2. The second rule B, it must involve one variable only. So look at this expression. How many variable we have here? Yes, just x. Okay. Okay, next, uh, you must know that the general form for quadratic expression is a times x squared plus bx plus c, where a, b, c are constant and a cannot be zero. Why is a cannot be zero? Let's see. Here you can see that a is negative 2, b negative 2 and c positive 5. Okay, for a, 2x squared plus 5 is, uh, yes, a quadratic expression because the highest power of x is 2 and there is also only one variable there, which is x. B, we have x cubed minus 6, so no, because the highest uh, power there is 3. C, also no, because we have two variables, so it's not quadratic expression in one variable. D, also no, because uh, there is a power that is not whole number. The power there is negative 2. So, it is not whole number, so not a quadratic expression. Okay, the power must be whole number. Okay, next. Uh, yes, because uh, we have uh, a variable and the highest power for variable is 2. Okay, it doesn't matter about the value of A. As long as it is more than 0. Okay, F also no because we have the power uh, is not a whole number. So, the power cannot be whole number. Okay, for it to be a quality expression. Okay, let's determine the value of A and B, C in quadratic expressions. So, A must be multiplied to x squared, B must be multiplied to x, and C is a number. So, uh, A, then A is 2, B, negative 3, and C is 1. Okay, let's try B. So, we have 2 x squared minus 4. So, we have a x squared plus b x plus c so now we know that uh, we have a x squared is uh, the same as 2 x squared so a is 2 okay we don't have b because there is no x to the power of 1 here but we have c negative 4 a number okay so a is 2 b is 0 and c is negative 4 okay you can try uh, c d and e and you can ask me for the answer let's move on to the second part of this chapter which is quadratic function quadratic expression before this we don't uh, have equal sign but this time in quadratic function we will have equal sign so the right and left side must have subjects the left side is our quadratic expression and our right side is fx the function so for quadratic function we are going to learn the characteristic uh, in quadratic function so you can see the summary here we are going to learn our four parts the first part the type of relation of quadratic function the second part the shape of the graph based on a the third part is the axis of symmetry based on b and the fourth part is the intercept y intercept okay which is c okay characteristic number one is the type of relation so uh, to know we can uh, try to take a ruler and uh, we put uh, on our graph on our uh, quadratic graph 
so we can see uh, that graph intersect two points on the curve so the the number of point of intersection is two so what are the points of intersection so let's see at the first dot we have of course we know y is four and at y four here the value of x is uh, one so the point of intersection number one is one four okay next we can see the second dot here uh, of course we know again y is four and x is four okay so you can see here uh, we have the same value of y but two different values of x so we can see that this type of relation for quadratic function is many to one relation so just a recap uh, type of relation we have x and y so uh, the value of x when uh, we have value of x1 it can be 4 and we have when we have the value of x4 also we can get uh, y equals to 4 so many to one answer next let's move on to part 2 graph, uh, graph shape Okay, graph shape is uh, affected by the values of a. Okay, so here we have equation y equals to 3x squared plus 2x minus 1. So a here is uh, the number that is multiplied to x squared which is number 3 here. Okay, so now we are going to uh, change the values of a and see what happened to the curve. Okay, so now I am moving uh, from positive A, I am going to 0. And you can see uh, the graph is, uh, when A is positive, the graph is a smiling graph. Okay, and when it is equal to 0, the graph is a straight line. Okay, why? So because when we have A equals to 0, so 0 times x squared is equal to 0. So now we have... 0 plus 2x minus 1. Y equals to 0 plus 2x minus 1. Y equals to 2x minus 1. So it is a straight line graph. Okay. Okay, what happened when uh, we change A to negative values? Okay, let's move A from positive to negative. You can see here, uh, it, it is a, a set graph. Okay, when uh, the value of negative a is uh, becoming bigger okay the curve is widened so generally we can say that uh, there are two shapes of graph okay smiling or sad smiling graph is when a is positive and sad graph is when a is negative you can scan the code and try it yourself okay when we know the shape of graph then we can find out the maximum and minimum point. So first, to know the maximum and minimum point, we must draw an axis of symmetry. The axis of symmetry is in the middle of the curve. Okay. So let's see the example A. So we have function equals to x squared minus 2x. So the axis of symmetry is x is at x equals to 1. Okay, and that line, that axis of symmetry line, it intersect at one point on the curve. Okay, the one I dotted there. So at that point is the minimum point because it is at the bottom of the smiling graph. Okay, next let's see B. Uh, okay, the axis of symmetry for B is, okay there is negative 1 x equals to negative 1 okay so uh, at that point we can see uh, that axis of symmetry intersect one point on the curve and that is the the, the dot there is the minimum point uh, of this that smiling graph okay because it, it, it is at the bottom okay next c can see the axis of symmetry is x equals to 1 and uh, the line intersect a point on the curve and that point is the maximum point because when the curve is a set curve the point is at the top of the set curve so after you draw the axis of symmetry you can see the line will intersect a one point at the curve and that point is at the center of the curve and for the smiling graph 
uh, we call the point minimum point set graph here you can see that the axis of symmetry will uh, intersect at the of the curve and the point is the coordinate for maximum point next part three axis of symmetry uh, is uh, affected when we change the value of b so let's see the effects of changing values of b on quadratic function graph here we have y equals to x squared plus bx okay so i'm going to change the value of b the purple line is our axis of symmetry so when b equals to zero the axis of symmetry x equals to zero okay when i move uh, values of b to positive numbers we can see the axis of symmetry now is negative okay what if i change the b values to uh, negative values so when i move uh, b to negative values so the uh, axis of symmetry is moving to a uh, positive value so x e, the x e, uh, the equation of axis of symmetry is positive so we can see here generally the value of b determines the position of the axis of symmetry so in general, we can say that values of B will determine uh, where the axis of symmetry will be. So here we can see when uh, for the set graph, when B is positive, uh, axis of symmetry is also positive. When B is negative, then axis of symmetry also negative. But uh, the, the opposite happens when we have a smiling uh, graph. Okay, when B is positive, then the axis of symmetry is negative, and when B is negative, then the axis of symmetry is positive. Okay, the fourth part is C is equal to the y-intercept. So I know you understand it better because you already uh, learned it in straight line form 3. It's the same thing. C is a point of intersection between the curve and the y-axis. Let's try an example. Example 2, we have quadratic function fx equals to x squared minus 3x plus c passes through a point A as given below. Calculate the value of c for each of the following cases. So A, our point A is 0, 4. So we know that the coordinate for y intercept is zero. Uh, x is when x is zero, uh, we have the y intercept c. So already written the c is equals to four. That is the answer. And b we have a is a negative one and three. Negative one if is our x coordinate and three is our f x coordinate. So we substitute into our quadratic function. So 3 equals to negative 1 squared minus 3 ne times negative 1 plus c. Then we solve as usual then, and we get c equals to negative 1. So that is the answer. Okay, uh, please do the homework given and you can ask me if you have any question. See you.